I am sick of WWE referees. I've just had enough of them. Welcome to Allison Analysis. I'm Ben Allison, and I've analyzed last night's episode of Monday Night Raw, and here are my five key findings. In at number five, if Jey Uso never wins a singles championship, I am going to be fuming. And I'm not even the biggest Jey Uso fan, but there's just no denying how over this guy is. If you told somebody in 2019 that Jey Uso from the Usos was going to be this over as a single star, they just wouldn't have believed you. His crowd reactions are genuinely probably in the top five in the company right now. And while on multiple occasions he's gotten so close to becoming a singles champion, he just ended up not winning. And now I'm frightened that he just never will. Because let's face it, I can't see him beating Bron Breaker. Surely not this early into his championship reign. But I think after this Bron Breaker feud, WWE are going to try and reunite the Usos together. So I really don't think Jey Uso is going to get another chance. So will he ever win a singles title? I'm genuinely worried he won't, and I'm so gutted for him. In at number four, WWE need to make fans care about the Pure Fusion Collective. Because let's just face it, right now, nobody does. And let me start by saying I'm a big fan of Shayna, Zoe, and Sonya. I think they're all great, especially Shayna Baszler, who I think doesn't get the respect she deserves from fans a lot of the time. But nobody under the sun cares about this faction right now. There is nothing interesting about them. Even their branding is just plain and generic. It genuinely feels like a 2K auto-generated faction on universe mode. They either need to add another member, I mean, maybe somebody with a lot of charisma, or they need a manager, either or. And even then, after that, they need to be pushed into the main event scene, right? Because them just being around the mid-card scene, it, they just feel a bit stuck there, and I, I, I don't think it's going to be any help to them at all. Because it's kind of felt like Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, Antonio Deville have kind of just been stuck in the mid-card their entire times on the WWE roster, to be honest with you as well. So I think maybe that's part of the issue. Maybe they just feel like mid-card is a bit too much. I think this faction needs to be feuding with the main event scene pretty much immediately. And I understand it's difficult because Liv Morgan is a heel and she's currently the champion. But you've got to figure some way around it. In at number three, is Big E returning soon? Or are the New Day genuinely splitting up this time? They seem to be at a breaking point right now, and their backstage promo last night made it clear that the lack of Big E is a big reason why. So that does give me a bit of hope that he will return soon, even though we do know that's quite unlikely. So maybe I'm just being delusional here. Maybe this is going to be the end of the New Day. And the reality is, the New Day has just been stale since Big E's been away. I understand why they're breaking them up if they are doing it, but they've been together for nearly a decade now. My heart will just break if they split up. I'm also not entirely sure if they're going to be better off as singles competitors. In at number two, I've had enough of WWE referees. Since the dawn of wrestling, referees have had absolutely zero common sense. So why on September 17th, 2024, have I finally decided I've just had enough of them? I have no idea. I just am. Last night was the final straw as far as I'm concerned. They get distracted every other second. They have massively low IQs because they can't work out the obvious. And oh yeah, they're also made of glass. Even VAR would do a better job. And at this point, that might actually have to be done. Because in all seriousness, right, these referee spots, I think they work great when they're done in rarity, maybe like once a month. But right now, in every single wrestling promotion around the globe, they happen like twice a show, and I am just sick of it. It is so lazy. It's predictable. It's boring. You don't even get like annoyed about it anymore, like annoyed at the heels at least. You just think, oh, it needs sorting out. In at number one, please don't break up Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser. I want to see Kaiser have a singles run as much as the next guy, but you don't need to split them up yet. He can have a singles run while he's with Gunther, like he's been doing. It's not like they're instantly going to make him a main event star, so him feuding with Gunther right away would make no sense. Wait another year or even two years and wait for the act of Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser to get stale, and at that point, then split them up. And in the meantime, build up Ludwig Kaiser, so when that feud does happen, then it actually makes sense that perhaps Ludwig Kaiser could genuinely beat Gunther. It will be believable. Because last night I was getting really worried that they're starting to tease it, and hopefully it leads to nothing. But there is legitimately no good reason to break them up right now. 
I wouldn't understand it at all. Because you really just risk Ludwig Heiser getting stuck in the mid card, or not even just stuck in the mid card, just stuck in catering if you split them up. At least with Gunther, you know he's going to be on TV every single week. And then he gets the opportunity to do single stuff on top of that as well. So just WWE, please don't do it. But that's all my analysis from last night's episode of Monday Night Raw. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could hit the like and subscribe button, it would be massively appreciated. I will be back on Thursday to talk a little bit of AEW Dynamite. So I'll see you guys then. Ba 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 ba. Peace.